Hello my darlings, thank you for tuning in. I know you saw the topic and you want to know how this will end up. <laughs> okay, so welcome to this new video. I'll be showing you how to fix your dreads. Yes. For girlies like me that do not really want to transition to dread completely and just want to do it for a while. There are a lot of ways you can fix your dread or you can do temporary dreads. But this is one of them. I'll be talking, I'll be doing this video as one of the ways to make your temporal dread. Now, the three basic ways that I know are first of all, using a twist. Second one, which I'll be doing is braiding, loose braids, right? And then the last one is just leaving your hair or, you know, the normal finger curling or finger stuff that we do. Now, and that one, the last one works for short hair actually. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a normal loose braid to fix your dread. Yes, after a while, I'll be taking, I'll be losing this off, and I want to give people the vibes that I have dreads. Okay, from far, let them see it like, oh, she has dreads, and then when they come close, you see that it's not really dread. Okay, I've done this hairstyle before. You can check my reels or my shorts. And then you're going to see something like that. I actually called it loose braids. But then when I went to work with it, someone would ask me, did you dread your hair or something? I was like, no, but it looks like dread. So I just thought of doing it as a video and showing you guys. So a lot of persons call this style loose braids, but if you look at it very well, it actually looks like dread at the back. Okay, when you turn it, when you flip it to the other end. So basically what I'm just doing is just braiding from the root. Actually, I wanted to do an under braid like you saw at the beginning of the video, but I noticed I was going to be slow. So if someone is going to do this for you and you're not doing this for yourself, I would advise that the person do an under braid like Martin. Uh, in my country, they call it DD or two hand. So I think that one will, will look more like the thread. But if you're doing this for your, by yourself, then you can just use the method I'm using so that your hands will not pin you. So that's all, just very simple. Just braid your hair and then braid it loosely. Do not braid it tight because when you braid it tight and you keep it for a while, if you want to take it down, it will be very hard for you to take it down. You're going to lose a lot of hair. So just braid it loosely. And another thing to note is that my hair is a bit wet. My hair is not dry. My hair is damp. And the times when the hair got dried, I spray water on it so you need a spray bottle or you will need your hair to be a bit damp it's nice to be nice if you do this hairstyle immediately after you wash your hair like when you wash it so you can see that it's forming like dreads a bit yeah it's forming like dreads a bit and that's it basically so i'm just going to leave you guys to enjoy this video please make sure to like this video make sure to drop your comments in the comment section let me know what you think about this hairstyle if you like it or if you just pre prefer the normal one where you just crochet your hair or if you prefer to go with twists that will eventually turn to dreads let me know but for someone like me i can just wear this when it's getting old i can put on my wigs or i can just lose it so i don't know about you guys please let me know in the comment section please and kindly like this video it's going to help with the algorithm please to support me especially if you're new here just leave this video a thumbs up so that the algorithm is going to push it to other people and guys if you are new here if you're watching this video right now then it means that you love this video why don't you hit the subscribe button and then you get to see more of my videos thank you so much i love you guys and god bless you please enjoy the video bye, bye.